issues with Her Excellency Hajia Ami. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Let's start with a prayer. Bismillahi lazi la yaduru ma ismi shawfi adbala fi samai wa huwa samiu alim. Bismillahi lazi la yaduru ma ismi shawfi adbala fi samai wa huwa samiu alim. Bismillahi lazi la yaduru ma ismi shawfi adbala fi samai wa huwa samiu alim. Aus bi kalimatillah ta'amak min shayir ma kalaka. Aus bi kalimatillah ta'amak min shayir ma kalaka. Aus bi kalimatillah ta'amak min shayir ma kalaka. Welcome to Itaaye Gidi. Labarin dunia nagaskia. Aku kondu madu. Real life story. Today I'll be telling you a real life story. We got this message from one of the members. This is crazy. May the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to protect you and I. Things are happening right now. I don't even know where to start from. May the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to protect you and I. This story I'm about to tell you is a story about a Nigerian woman who contacted me. She stated, I do not know why people think people are not harming people spiritually out there now. She said, I'm going to tell my story because I believe somebody might learn from it or know that things were not their own fault. She stated, Hajia, I am a Hajia. I've told my story to some people. That's why I want you to share my story. She stated, I will be very brief and swift. I did not know how I started going out with my ex-husband. She stated, she's been here in America for a long time. She stated she was on her own until her ex-husband came and was asking her out. She said she was not interested. So she told him she was not interested because I did not like him for one day, knowing him before we started going out. He said, on one fateful day, I just saw myself agreeing to everything that he was telling me to do. He said that he was not someone of my caliber. I didn't look at him like someone that I can be with. I couldn't stand him in the first place. So why be with a man like that? She said, all of a sudden, I just realized that I started going out with him. Everything he told me I would do. On getting married to him, things started going so fast that I could not explain why I say yes to everything around him. She said, if he tells me to buy something, I buy it. If he tells me to not do something, I'm not doing it. Even things that I do not need to ask him, like I'll stop doing that. I'll be playing a video that we got in our inbox so you know that things are happening out there. Ala what he stated in that video was that when I put the two of you together, whatever you request for, that person will be doing it for you. And we would need to kill, uh, I believe that was a ram or so. Era, era means meat. So that has to do with maybe goat, lamb chicken or whatever they're killing i don't know however that is voodoo being done to have like a love portion so that way that person can agree to be with that person without knowing so it's like a spiritual manipulation to manipulate someone to be with someone hmm. he's manipulating someone spiritually so that another person 
that is not aware of that person who is doing the voodoo would be with the person who they're doing the voodoo for. And when they do that voodoo, whatever you wish for, whatever you tell the person you're doing it on, that person has to do it. If they're not doing it, then they would start facing problems. He said, Ejeruru. Ejeruru, I believe something that has to do with the blood, like you'll be having, maybe pro probably you'll be having problems is what I can translate it as. Now, what do we have to say about things like this? We have a true life story. That was why I was playing this. We got this in our inbox this morning. So the true life story I'm about to tell you has something to do with something like this. She contacted me and stated, Her Excellency, I see a lot that is posted on your platform and I must say, I am so proud of you for letting people seek help, voice out, because a lot of people are not talking because of what would people say or people laughing at them. She stated, this particular story I'm about to tell you happened to me. I am not going to waste your time, Her Excellency. The video you posted this morning or that was posted on your platform about the love portion, the voodoo stuff, is why I contacted you because I want people to know my story. Yes, people think that people are joking around when they're telling their story or they feel they're just saying it for the fun of it. I happened to meet a man in America. I never liked him. But hi dear, I don't know what happened. The next minute I started going out with him. One, two, three, go, we got married. I didn't know how that happened. Ever since I got married to him, everything he asks for, I do. I do not say no. Everything is just yes, yes, yes. He has taken all my money. He's taken all the things that I'm supposed to do with my life. He's destroyed it. Everything that I've done with this man is yes, yes, yes. She said on a fateful day, one of his friends came to me and told me, I have to tell you something. See my friend, your husband, who has been my friend for years, I know him in and out. He did voodoo on you. What is voodoo? Voodoo is like when you go to a psychic and tell them to manipulate things so that way someone can agree to do things that they're not going to do on a good day without you manipulating them spiritually. Your husband told me he really wanted to get you because he wanted to use you. He's tried going out with you for years and you refused. So he had to seek a spiritualist who helped him. He was given a ring and he was told that once he wears that ring and says anything to you, you would agree. On this faithful day, this was how he used the ring on you. A friend put his ring on and called you. And after calling you, everything he told you, you agreed to do out of your own will. And that was how he got married to you. She stated, Hadja, I was shocked, but I've been in that marriage for some time. But the moment he told me about that, I was scared. I started praying more. I did not know what to do. She said, but I started digging more to find out things. The things I found from my husband's phone was deadly. She said he indeed was using me. She said, ever since I found out that he used jazz, voodoo, juju, like spiritual manipulation to get me, it felt like something cleared in me. She said, I was traumatized, but I needed answers. I kept digging. And he was uncomfortable. He was very uncomfortable to the extent that he would sometimes pretend that he wants to go and pee and stay in the toilet for a long time. But as God will do it, paying more and begging God to chase him away. 
I am grateful to God and I'm grateful to the Almighty that he chased him away. So I wanted you to tell people this story so that they know that things are happening even here in America, abroad. People are going through all the spiritual manipulations that we used to hear about in Nigeria, in Africa. So when next somebody tells you that they don't know how they got into that relationship, do not think that they are foolish to have let that happen to them, she stated. So I hope we all learned a lesson from this. No matter how we pray sometimes, we should just be praying not to be victims. Would we say she did not pray enough? No. The other person's picture that they're using, would we say that the person is not praying? No. I'll go ahead and play you an audio from a pastor. Hmm. Just listen to what he said. Quick this morning. The life that we live now is dangerous. The heart of a man really is desperately wicked. You need to watch your back. You must be intentional about your life. You can't just live a kind of a careless life. The people around you are not really looking for your good. Some of them are looking for your downfall. And they're only looking for one information to use against you. You know, people are waiting for bad news to come to you. If not from God, you won't be where you are right now. I'm telling you, it's by the mercy and the grace of God you're still standing. Because the people that are around you, they're not really expecting you to share good testimonies. They're expecting you to tell them how you're actually going through depression, how your husband is no longer there, how your wife is cheating on you, how you, you know, my job is not doing well, business is not doing well. All right? It's not everybody who is singing your praise that I really love you. It's not everybody who is actually shouting when they see you that cares about you. It's not everybody that smiles to you that cares about you. What are you? You heard from him. It's not everyone who is singing, how, how are you doing, that loves you. Sometimes people that praise you hate you. People that rejoice with you, even people that you help, harm you. How do we avoid things like that? It's only the grace of God. Inna atayna kal kousar fa salli rabbika wa nihar inna shaniyaka wa abtar Inna atayna kal kousar fa salli rabbika wa nihar inna shaniyaka wa abtar Inna atayna kal kousar fa salli rabbika wa nihar inna shaniyaka wa abtar May the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to protect you and I because sometimes all the people that have been going through a lot sometimes. It's not like they do not pray enough. They pray. But we should just pray that God should not let this evil people get you and I. I'll go ahead and read something from our platform today. It states, Ki ile topa oshika onrere ati baje Before the earth kills an evildoer, too many good things would have been destroyed. Hmm. Or on land they lay you. But bum again at you now. I put that. I took a chain away. Carfum. And they came here. I put the bike here. You mutu. Zed get about to Abu Wade. Oh. Toya. Yeah. Zami. I do have in the Zamu. Dingay. Then buy up in the Zami. Say them with that. I do. Ah. Lay for your long leg. Try on me. A bottle. Continue Latima Bawe. Continue Latima Badua. No matter how good you are, you can face trial. Leave your comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for always coming down here. Give us a thumbs up. And remember, you and I can make the change.